Welcome back, my friends. So today we're going to be taking a look at the 8-BitDo, 8-BitDo. I don't care how it is said, but they have some brand new controllers out there for the Turbo Graphics, the Core Graphics, and the PC Engine Mini. There's three versions. They're 2.4 gigahertz wireless controllers. All three of them work on each of the systems. Doesn't matter which system you use it on. So we have the TG16 variant for the Turbo Graphics 16. We have the PCE Core version. So the core graphics style, and then we have the PCE, so the PC engine style. All three of them are identical, same size, same, you know, buttons and whatnot. Uh, but today we're going to test them out. I have been using them quite a bit, so I do have some impressions I want to share with you guys. Also want to show you how uh, it works with this five port multi-tap turbo tap adapter because um, I have some concerns with that. So we'll talk about that in a second because I did buy four of these controllers. I bought two of the core graphics ones. Um, kind of unnecessary, but I was really hoping to get a bunch of wireless controllers hooked up to this to be able to play like some five-player Bomberman. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's some caveats to that. So we're going to take a look at that in a moment. But let's go ahead and get these out of the box, show you what we're working with. I believe these were 25 bucks each through Amazon. I will have a link in the description. There's the core graphics style, the PCE core. Very nice, has the shininess, just like the original controller for the core graphics. There's the controller. You got your, your one and two buttons, and then your turbo up top, select and run, and a D-pad. Up top's your charging port, and then two lights, showing that it's charging or that it's connected. Back of the controller, just a little typical sticker there uh, for Looks like some kind of security screws in there if you want to take this apart. Oh, and then we do have a home button in the middle there. Very nice. And each one of these, okay, they all do come with a little instruction thing. There's really not much to know on here. Uh, you know, just hooking it up to the, the minis or hooking it up to the switch. And I'll show you both in a moment here. And then just battery indication, lights, nothing major. Who cares about that? In each controller package, you will get a charge cable and the 2.4 gigahertz USB adapter. Each controller comes with its own color adapter, so you can't mix them up. I think that's very nice. Pretty much the same um, style and look as the 8BitDo M30s, the 2.4 gigahertz. So there's that. Take a look at the Turbo Graphics one real quick. There's Turbo Graphics controller with the matte finish there. Uh, this is probably my least favorite looking one out of the bunch. Uh, it just does not really match well, in my opinion, as to how the original Turbo Pad for the uh, Turbo Graphics 16 would look. Like you don't have any of those orange accents there. Um, you know, it's still kind of similar, but uh, you know, it's just kind of bland in my opinion. But there's that. And then you do get a black dongle. And then here is the PC Engine version. This one I do really like the, the way it looks because it's not, you know, you got different colors here. You got some red buttons, you got some gray buttons up top for the turbo, the white shell, and then the overlay there, matte overlay, uh, pretty similar. To the turbo graphics style one but there are all three of them very nice so we're gonna go ahead and pop this in oh here's the core graphics adapter it's white yay so plugging it in you can play one or two players uh, just off of the, the two ports that are, are available um, and it works just fine go ahead and pop in two of them there we go. Boot it up. Um, and then the one thing to sync it, once your system is on, you will see like the little lights will be flashing. It's kind of hard to see, but they are flashing on the, uh, the dongles. Just hit the uh, home button and it'll just automatically sync. That is it. Let's go ahead and connect this one. Ah, uh, that one just, uh, when you hit the home button, that's one thing I dislike is um, if you hit the home button while you're on a game, if the controller's connected or you hold it too long when you are connecting it, it'll just start the game. 
it's like the home button is registering as run or the the one button so you kind of have to be careful of that that's a little annoying there but as you see plugged in one and two player controllers work wirelessly just fine no issues with that but we do have an issue when it comes to this thing we'll get into that in a second but from my experience using this controller um it feels great and i being honest like the buttons and the d-pad are pretty much the same uh as far as the way they look and feel in a like the the, the actual the feel not the membrane feel the membrane feel like the actual tactile press of these buttons and d-pad on the 8-bit do feel a heck of a lot better than the stock controller from hori that came with these consoles so that's just my opinion you know subjective but the one thing that does bother me a little bit is the controller is smaller than the stock the stock controller by a good like quarter an inch wide it's definitely a little smaller there uh the thickness how thick she is you know maybe slightly smaller um the buttons and everything they're raised a little tiny bit higher just the buttons anyway the d-pad seems to be about the same um so not really a big deal there the start and select on the 8 bit do are raised higher um, so there's that it's just such a small controller uh it doesn't necessarily bother me, but it is noticeable. Now it is a really comfortable controller in my hands. All the edges are curved, all that good stuff. It, it looks and feels great. Like I can't complain, but it's just that, that small, like if this was just a little bit bigger in tune with the original controller, I wouldn't have an issue there. Now, let me just play a game real quick. Show you, you know, everything does respond. Um, if you hit the turbo, boom you're getting some turbo action no multi-level turbo it's just full force or nothing so you have that now if you use this on the nintendo switch um it's going to be the same thing it's either a and b if you can uh you know if you're using it for nes games a and b and then just turbo for those two buttons that that's it uh on the switch the the home button does work as the home button but really my main thing using this on the Nintendo Switch is just for those NES games from Switch Online. It works perfectly fine for that. Uh, I have no issues. It feels great as an NES controller. So, hey, dual purpose. If you want to play some NES on the Nintendo Switch, I think this is a great option for that for the price. If you, you know, you're getting it for one of these minis, hey, you got that additional, you know, way you can use the controller anyway. Now, the one problem here with these controllers is using the multi-tap or the turbo tap they work with it they work with it that is not the issue but plugging this in i i found that once you have the turbo tap plugged in that second port does nothing any longer that is a problem you could plug a controller in there a wired controller or a wireless controller and it just does not do anything you lose the second controller option there and i've tested it there's nothing wrong with the usb ports on any of these consoles for me um, because i can remove this plug in two controllers and it works just fine swap them around have uh, the wireless controller and a wired controller in either slot and it's fine it's just when this is plugged in that second player port is no longer active just will not allow you to do anything now when you plug in these wireless controllers you have a maximum of three slots that you could use them in that is unfortunate i already kind of figured that when i first reviewed this because these look to be the same size as the m30 adapters and they are you can get three on here you cannot fit four you cannot fit five so that is an issue that is a concern the only other thing you can do since that second player port is no longer active which would have been nice because then i could have plugged in my fourth player controller into that port and had four player action at least you can plug in two additional wired controllers in the middle here of the the turbo tap or multi-tap whatever the hell you want to call it and they will all function just fine you'll have three wireless and then two wired controllers a little bit of a pain in the butt to be honest with you um the way that works but at least you have that option 
turn all these controllers on. As you see, this controller's working. This controller's working. This controller's working. This controller is working. This one is working. Now, if we remove one and plug it into the second player port, I'll show you right now, it's not gonna work. I'll do a, a wired one, but it's gonna be the same thing with wireless. Plugging in second player. Okay, all the controllers are still connected. There's that, that one's working. That one's working. That one is working. And then the one I have plugged into the turbo tap, multi tap, that one is working. And then the second player controller, or the one that I have plugged in second player port, does absolutely nothing. If I plug a wireless one in there, it's the same thing. Does absolutely nothing. That kind of sucks. That sucks uh, big, fat, floppy donkey balls. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a, kind of a, a missed thing. I don't know that they could have done much different um, with these adapters to make it so you could fit more of them on here. But is that, like take away from the fact that I enjoy these controllers. It does a little bit because I was really hoping to get more plugged in than I have, but you know what? They're great. How often are you going to play five players? It would have been awesome to do so. If I play five players, I mean, the cords on the wired controllers are 10 feet long. Ah, I mean, a couple people are going to have to use wired controllers, like suck it up and just deal with it. Right? So I'm really enjoying these. I think the buttons and the D-pad feel better, or at least the D-pad anyway, feels better than the stock controller. The buttons feel about the same. The select and run a little higher. I kind of wish they were a little lower like the original, but that's okay. Um, everything feels good. Can't really complain. So I'm enjoying them. I'm happy with my purchase. I'm just a little disappointed. I can't use as many of them as I'd like, but hey, you, you know, it, it is what it is. I kind of figured that from the get-go when I first seen these being announced. Um, I know some people are a little disappointed that they're not turbo sliders, and I, I get it. Uh, it really would have been nice to have that instead of a, an extra button, but I think I'm fine with that. I, it doesn't bother me too much, but for some people it might. So I bought these with my own money. Um, a bit do, they don't, they don't send me anything because they know I'm gonna buy it anyway, so there is that. I'm happy I bought these. I love using their controllers and all my mini consoles. Occasionally on the Switch, like I said, these are kind of a nice little option for that. But hey, really do appreciate you guys taking a look at this video. Link will be in the description if you are interested. And with that said, I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Thumb butt. And boom. Bye.